supposed to reach the studio at 11 in the morning and it's 1.30. Is it? Yeah, man. Shit, my wall broke. Uh, really, I won't be surprised if you're stuck here for like another three hours. I swear to God. The whole morning has been yeah. about how to get to the studio. That's, that's been the project. Yeah. So, Sharik gave me a frantic call at about 10, 10 15 in the morning saying, Tarun! I'm in the floods! And then his phone, and then his phone died. No. Because, because he was waist deep in water. So I'm, I'm going to release the three songs we recorded yesterday and that's about it. That's it man. Yeah. Broad sense, um, our sounds are very similar. So this seems like a part two of what we'd done earlier. You know, it doesn't seem like okay he played on my album, that was my project. And then this is his project and I'm playing. It just feels like, you know, Shari Tarun and I we're doing another project together. Same. But you know, for the, the, this thing it becomes, mm -hmm. and getting out of the just press the pedal. That's what I, I had thought initially, but we changed the whole thing. That's what I thought for the getting out of the song. But Tarun, me and Sharik have been playing yeah. for you know a bunch of years now, and we've developed this sort of uh, chemistry, and it's like a vibe. We don't really need to. It's sort of like we know what's what's happening. There's obviously <clears throat> elements of surprise and you know spontaneity, but it's just this groove has been set up between the three of us, and then Bruno has come in, and he's just sort of fit into that that mold really well. So even just the first time we started playing, it was just like it just happened. You know, the first note he struck, and we was like, oh my god, this is it. The inspiration, uh, you know, came. Most of the inspiration came actually from uh, my grandfather's paintings that we have, we have all over the house. Uh, my grandfather was an artist, uh, he was a painter, he was a short story writer and a photographer. And so a lot of the music uh, which was written very close to the recording date was inspired by his photography and his paintings. And, uh, I remember one specifically being Azan, which is inspired by his painting uh, of Jama Masjid. There's this tune called Azan. Azan is basically a uh, basically means call for the prayer. Wherever it's prayer time, you know, there's a there's a Azan happening in the mosque, and we go for prayer. So I've, I've written down some lyrics accordingly, and I'm, I'm just praising God. In So 
I don't feel it gels with the bass line. It doesn't mix it hard. But I, I mean, I, I, whenever we have a take you want to do, I'll, I'll just redo that with the overdub that melody. And so. I mean, that's more for myself. But in terms of, it still feels like it's pushing. Um, yeah. It could really sit, sit back much more. Mm. Agreed. That that bass line, the syncopation, like. That syncopation to really and is that, this sit is on that. Thank you.